So there's three types of SIBO. I guess we should say that the small intestine is about 90 to 95% of the length of the intestinal tract. The other yeah. five to 8% is the large intestine. The large intestine is where most of the bacteria should be housed. Now, I'd love you to make that differentiation in a small intestine. It's not just an overgrowth of bad bacteria, it's an overgrowth of bacteria. So for the hydrogen, it's E. coli and Klebsiella uh, types. They do know the specific strains. And this is not the pathogenic type of E. coli. There's a pathogenic E. coli that can cause food poisoning. This is just the standard strains that exist in us normally. For the methane type, it's M. smithii, Methanobrevibacter smithii, it's mouthful. And mm. for the hydrogen sulfide type, it's um, Fusobacterium varium, Desulfovibrio pi piger, and then also Proteus mirabilis. So we actually know the exact bacteria and archaea that are overgrown causing this problem. So the fact that we now know what they are is really helpful because our treatments can, can be more verified and more specific. Mm.